Okay, so I wanted to do a quick video on schedules. Um, I'm going to take a look at the mass schedules first. And so um, on the composition page, you're going to have a mass schedule that looks at the surface floor and volume area. And then you're going to have a floor schedule that looks at the floors that have been cut in the mass. So let's go ahead and <clears throat> I'm going to single left click on this guy. It's going to highlight it. And if I double click it, basically it's a little schedule that goes through and has fields. So if I click on the fields button right there, it has the family, the gross surface area, the gross floor area, and the gross volume, right? And so if I click that off and I come over to my composition page and I double click and pick the one of the masses, right? You're seeing the gross floor area, the gross surface area, and the gross volume. Um, <clears throat> and so that's what it's kicking out. It's also looking at the name of the family, so um, that family name. And you can see that family name if you come down to the families and expand your families. Let me close the annotation symbols and go to your masses and you'll see the base and center. This is the family name and this is the type name. So they're both the same for these. So if you want to rename them, you can come in here and rename them. So if I made this middle, right, and hit enter um, and come back here, you'll see that it'll update that name. Um, so basically the schedule is creating um, and categorizing all of that. So to create a schedule, um, you can just use these, right, that I've given you, but to create a schedule, you would go to the view tab, go to the schedule pull down and go to schedule and quantities, and then scroll down to whatever category you wanted to schedule and basically what it's going to do so if i go to mass and i'll just name it mass schedule 2 click ok it's going to look at all the parameters that are available for that mass and you can create a little excel spreadsheet from it so if i come over and get the same ones that i had before so family gross floor area gross surface area gross volume right so there's surface area floor area and volume right so if i rearrange those okay i can click ok and basically what it does is it takes me to this little tiny schedule and um, <clears throat> puts all of those in a little excel spreadsheet and i can do things like come into the sorting and grouping here and tell it to show the grand totals and i'll tell it to show totals only and I just told Revit to show the totals, but now I have to tell it to calculate because it's being efficient and not doing calculations without us telling it to. So that lives under the formatting. And you can highlight the surface area. Anything that can calculate, you can highlight it and go to the pull down and tell it to calculate totals. Right. So if I click OK, now those are going to calculate there. And I have this schedule. I can actually rename it here. And basically, um, there's a view template that I have made for the schedules. If you go to the appearance, you can change the fonts and the lines. But I have a view template that if you click on view template, you can come in and say century gray small, century gothic gray small, and it changes all of that, just like a view template for your views. And then you can pick that. And if you go to your schedules over here, that mass two schedule will be there and I can bring it out, click it here. And then if I adjust these little arrows, you know, I can give it enough space for it to flatten out, right? And so basically the same, same thing there. Now the next one is a little bit more complex, this mass floor schedule. So we'll take a look at how that one works. So if I go to, again, to view and schedules, <clears throat> go to schedules and quantities, I can go down to the masses again. And if I expand the masses, there's actually mass floors. And we looked at creating mass floors for the floors, um, but if I go to the mass floor schedule, um, it'll do two again because I already have one. If I click OK, I can go in and get the level and the area, right? Um, so I want, for sure, I want the area and maybe the, let's go get the mass family. Let's go get the floor area. Right, and then let's get the level. Um, and let's see, I think mass 
comments mess up. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, and I'll click OK. And it'll give me this <clears throat> readout, right? And so what I can do here is I can actually start to sort and group it. So I can go to sorting and grouping, and I can sort by level. And I can give it a header, right? So if I do that and click OK, it gives me plan A1, plan A2, plan A3, plan A4, right? <clears throat> and then if I go to um, the sorting and grouping again, or actually I can get rid of this level because I don't really need it anymore because it's got a header, right? And so... I can hide that, right? And now it's doing the floor area, right? And I can tell it to do totals, just like we did before, sorting and grouping. So I'll do grand totals, totals only, and I'll do a subtotal for each one. So to do that, I can put a footer and put a subtotal, click OK, and then I need to go to formatting and tell that um, floor area to total, right? So now I'm getting all of those totals. And then again, I could go to the view template and update it to that guy, right? And so if I go back to my composition page and let's um, double click on this one and the existing one, if I go to the fields, right? I have the mass family, the level, the floor area, and I also have the floor volume in there, right? But now it's going through and you can see how it's working, okay? And then you can place that. <clears throat> when I come back, we'll take a look at the, um, real quickly at the wall schedules and the wall material takeoff.